Hey, this is uh, another tips and tricks and some cool things about Windows 8 consumer preview. Um, there's been a lot of discussion on adding people adding the start menu back to Windows 8 in the bottom left corner. Some say it's useless, they should get used to this start screen since the start screen can do almost everything the start menu can. The big thing the start screen can't do, and I don't know if they'll, they'll uh, tweak it to do it, but in, in the start screen, if you right click, you go all programs. Let's say you want to take this icon out of this subcategory. You get your subcategory, so you let's say you want to go into Atari, take the icon from Atari and move it over to a different folder. You can't do that. You can re you can pin to start and open up file location, but you can't physically grab it, move it, or create new folders unless you went through the file structure, which I've showed in one of my previous videos. So that's one big drawback of the start screen. You can't customize and organize it the way you can do it with the start menu. So there is room for a start menu in Windows 8. After working with this since the release, I finally got a program that they updated and it makes this job so much easier. First go to Classic Shell. Classic Shell is awesome. It's an awesome program to use with Windows 8. And when, when you install the Classic Shell, you can right click down here, go Settings, and it gives you a crap load of settings. You go all settings and then you can tweak the hell out of it, right? And by doing so, you can got your recently programs, all your programs, your basic stuff, you can shut down, visa, whatever, and you can also search as well, right? So it's got everything that you would expect out of a start menu for the better part. Um, the big thing you can do with this, which is the reason why I installed it to begin with, is you can go here, open up one of these, take take an icon, a shortcut, and move it. And then it moves. And then you can go back to your start menu, or sorry, the start screen, and it should have actually updated itself. And if it didn't update itself, just like my other video showed, sometimes you have to log out, log back in to make the updates happen in the start screen. That's another thing with the start screen, it doesn't properly update quick enough. So if you if you're somebody that needs to if you're somebody that needs to uh, configure your start start menu, start screen move create new folders in it organize it better you'll want a start menu for that because physically it's impossible for the better part to do it without without going through C drive program data Microsoft Windows start menu and then and that's how you would do it in Windows 8 if you didn't have a start menu the other thing with the start menu and when you install the classic shell, you move your mouse to the bottom left corner, nothing. It takes away the hot spot in the bottom 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 left corner. However, if you right click it, you get your set you get your uh, you get your setting. But if you take your mouse to the very bottom right corner, you still get your administration tools that you would normally get if you didn't have it there. If you want to get back to your start screen you can hit the windows key or you could just pull up the uh, charm bar if you're really quick sometimes you can actually hit the nah. sometimes you can actually hit the hot spot down there it doesn't quite work that same way that see so yeah, I, I hit it that time you can bring it up sometimes and then just click on it but uh, not what I wanted to originally do. And when you're not at the desktop, the bottom left corner works again. But when you're at the desktop, for the most part, it goes away. But your top left still works, and you can drag it down still to get it. So it's nifty. I think having a start menu back in Windows 8 helps. 
if A, you don't ever want to go to the start screen ever again, you configure your uh, your local policy settings to bypass the start screen on startup. Or if you need to heavily invest in modifying the start menu, start screen, add add uh, subfolders, delete subfolders, customize subfolders, change up icons like I normally do. For for me, like I create a folder called others and it cleans up everything. I just drop everything that doesn't belong in a category into others and it just keeps it clean. So there you have it. Um, there, for some people, the start menu would be like, why bother? It's not coming. Microsoft isn't going to personally make one and it's just dwelling on the past. Some will say it's nice to have it, you don't ever have to see the start screen again, but then you're missing the point of the Metroid UI for the better part. And for some like us, like power users, will love it because A, we have a start menu and a start screen to play with, and the start menu will allow us to configure the start menu subcategory file structures and allow us to modify it on the fly without actually having to go into the C drive and do it. Bonus. Well, there you have it. For people that want to be add a start menu back to Windows 8, I highly suggest getting the classic classic shell. because the classic shell so far is the best alternative into re-adding the start menu back to Windows 8. There's a few other ones they don't look or work so well and don't have as much configuration options as the classic shell does and the classic shell you can make it look like pretty much anything. If you click skins you can change your skin layout reset it whatever it's it's cool it's handy you can even get rid of if you can even get rid of this if you wanted to by uh by removing the start button altogether so if you just want to be able to configure your start menu but not have an actual start menu button in the left corner that's where you would get rid of the start button for if you want to make it just look like Windows 8 but have a tool to optimize everything else within the start menu start screen well there you have it I hope you enjoyed it I hope many of you will will download it for power users that wanna have more customization to the start screen start menu for basically they're all program loadout. Well, catch you later.